Primo's Wrestling presents the phenomenal AJ Styles, former world champion for one day only, January 31st from 3 to 5, at the Punjab Cultural Center, 1770 King Edward Street. Join me, Adam West, live on location and get your tickets for an exclusive meet and greet with autographs and photos. Then catch all the live wrestling action with AJ Styles. Tickets available at Primo's Collectibles. Open till 9 daily and 6 on weekends in the Garden City Shopping Center. Like them on Facebook. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first year referee, Maddie Manila. Introducing first. Introducing first from Yellow Knife. Weighing in 223 pounds, he is the Northern Red Threat Evans! Welcome to Primo's Wrestling Canada here on Shaw TV. I am Michael James Arnott alongside Mr. Kid Remington. And you see, heading into the ring right now, the Northern Wolf, Brett Evans. The Northern Wolf, Brett Evans, taking on perennial crowd favorite, Corey Diamond. And this is gonna be an intriguing matchup, Kid Remington, because uh, Brett Evans reminds me of a young Corey Diamond. A young Corey Diamond. A young Corey Diamond. So, is that better or worse than the Corey Diamond he'll be facing now, Mike not? A young Corey Diamond. Wow. Corey Diamond is a KG is veteran. Definitely. Coming to us from, by way of Saginaw, Michigan. And the Northern Wolf, Brett Evans, coming from Yellowknife. This is a big open challenge. He, Brett Evans, the Northern Wolf, howled out an open challenge to anyone. And that challenge was met by somebody down in Saginaw. Gonna he be a big howled tilt. out an open challenge well, where he stick his head out the window I mean. and howl at the moon? No, Jeez. I'm not calling Brett Evans a real wolf. You know, I think sometimes you're just too fired up. That's your big high money protege. He, he, he did bupkis for you tonight. You know, all you needed to do was get a gift basket for Zach Mercury and you, you would have saved you yourself know. big money. Maybe you should focus on the match that's taking place right now instead of worrying about my personal issues and my clients' issues. You know what, it's none of your business. You know what, I, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think you can hear it. Somebody is a little under the weather tonight. When I'm not meaning physically, I'm meaning mentally. Mike Arnott has been pushed to the limit. But I will agree with you. We've got a great match in the ring. There's a great combination of moves here between these guys. Corey Diamond on the receiving and right now from the North. Brett Evans. Just a reminder, folks, Primo's Wrestling Canada will be going to one-hour programs in the very near future, and also you will be seeing 
Ring of Honor on Shaw TV Winnipeg. We thank Shaw TV Winnipeg for putting on the great wrestling programming. Call in, write in, email, text, old school snail mail. You can go on Instagram, you can go on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Facebook. Get a hold of Shaw. Tell them you want to see Ring of Honor. You want to see Primo's Wrestling Canada. You want to see that wrestling content. Because really, you can't choose between the quality of those shows. That's one and one A. Absolutely, and you can't get this content anywhere else. I mean, Primo's Wrestling Canada, Ring of Honor, it's only on Shaw TV. This is absolutely exclusive. The best stuff coast to coast seen here right now. The stars of tomorrow oh, the on best WWE. Stuff in the world, in the galaxy. I mean, if they had wrestling on, on Jupiter's moon. You may be right. You may be right. Manny Manila back in the ring calling another tight match. Another reminder, folks, October 25th, we're back here. Another big event, Primo's Wrestling Canada. Main event getting announced really soon. Stay tuned to the social media. Stay tuned to our TV show. You will be seeing that. And again, follow us on Facebook, Primo's Wrestling Canada. Get all the latest news. Corey Diamond trying to get the crowd going here. Capacity crowd. They had to take out some of the merchandising around here just to fit more seats in to get more people in to watch this wrestling action. Oh, look at those shots to the midsection. Oh, and the crowd is coming unglued here for Corey Diamond. Whoa! First shoulder breaker, arm breaker. Corey Diamond in a world of trouble right now. Brad Evans totally in control right now. Again, we'd like to thank everybody on Shaw TV Winnipeg for watching the show, watching the program, taking the time out of your day. We know it's the the age of the PVR. You're PVR and Shark Week. You're PVRing the Amazing Race, all that stuff. But we know you're not PVRing this show. You're watching it live because the action, that's the way you like it, folks. You don't want to go online and find out who won these matches. You want to see live. You're coming to these events where you're watching it live on Shaw Television, and we thank the crack crew for putting all the production together, from our DJs to the guys watering the plants to the guys walking off the cables, setting up the chairs. Everyone's got a big part in making Primo's Wrestling Canada a big success. Corey Diamond could have a victory here. He's got him if he could just... No. Very you know close. what? Not hooking the leg. We've, we say it a million times every week on these wrestlers. Not that I want to get in the ring and start doing the wrist locks and all those kind of moves and stuff, just to prove the point. But if I were a pro wrestler, I would be hooking that leg every time. But I'm not a pro wrestler. I suggest everyone at home go and get professionally trained, just like the heavily trained professionals you see every week on Primo's Wrestling Canada. That's right, don't you dare try this at home, folks. These are trained professionals. I saw Manny Manila walking into the event tonight with a stack of books, learning new moves, how to call new moves. When is it a submission? When is it a pinfall? The learning never stops in wrestling, folks. How to, how to break a count at two and a half? Where to position your hand before it hits the mat? He's got him here. I can't see Corey Diamond getting out of, that's it. He's got him. Munich stretch. There we go, the official decision from Josh Hammerstein, the Northern Wolf, Brett Evans. Corey Diamond tried to answer the challenge, could not do it. But look at the, look at the gamesmanship here now. He's making sure he's okay.
That's the way the veterans do it here, folks, at Primo's Canada Wrestling. Primo's Wrestling presents the phenomenal AJ Styles, former world champion for one day only, January 31st from 3 to 5, at the Punjab Cultural Center, 1770 King Edward Street. Join me, Adam West, live on location and get your tickets for an exclusive meet and greet with autographs and photos. Then catch all the live wrestling action with AJ Styles. Tickets available at Primo's Collectibles. Open till 9 daily and 6 on weekends in the Garden City Shopping Center. Like them on Facebook. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Let's see here. Well, it looks like, no disrespect to Ernie Ladd, while the big cat's away, the little mice will play. And it looks like Mike Arnott is too. And it looks like the rumors of the Max Package Zach Mercury's demise are greatly, greatly exaggerated. You see, I sat for nearly eight months training, coming back from one of the most horrific injuries in all of sports, an Achilles detach. But what did I do? I didn't cry and sit in home wondering when will I get another opportunity to come back to Primo's Wrestling? No. I trained harder. I ate better. I watched more training tapes of my ultimate idols in the wrestling business. And now I'm prepared to come back harder and faster, stronger, leaner than you out there in TV land have ever seen. But now, Mike Arnott seems to be like he wants to move away from Zach Mercury, and I'll tell you what, that's just fine by me. You see, the plan ever since I stepped foot into this company was to infiltrate, dominate, and annihilate. And if you want to take on Mr. Too Cold Antonio Scorpio Jr. Jr. That's just fine by me because he is just another stepping stone in the face of the Max Package in a land where you are just basic cable. Hello, Shaw Television viewers. Michael James Arnott here. And I just tried to introduce the Primo's Wrestling Universe to the hottest prospect in professional wrestling today, Antonio Scorpio. Much to the chagrin of one Zach Mercury. Zach Mercury, former member of the station, and as your official station representative, all I can tell Zach Mercury is you didn't cut it, Zach Mercury. You couldn't handle the responsibility laid upon your shoulders by the station. So you've been replaced. The station has upgraded. And now, the number one prospect in professional wrestling today, Antonio Scorpio, is gonna make you his. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the professional wrestling genre, my name is Frankie Kazarian. Pillar of society, inspiration to children everywhere, and one half of the best tag team in the business. Now tonight, I've been informed, I've been told that I have a qualifying match for the TV title, which is great since I've never met a camera that I didn't like, but standing in my way is 250 pounds, six foot eight of Mitch Lightning? Who? Mitch Lightning? Well, let me, let me tell you something. Mitch Lightning, if that is your real name, I'm gonna go easy on you. I'm gonna make an example out of you, but I'm making sure it's quick and it's painless because I'm moving on to bigger and better things. That being the television title around my gorgeous waist and Mitch Lightning, you and every other ham sandwich in Winnipeg, when it's over, can worship me now.
Here I am, Mitch Lightning, at Primo's Canada Wrestling, and I am set to face off against Kazarian for a shot at the television championships. It's a contender's match, and I'm going to tell you right now, I am a contender. Kazarian, I have one thing to say, and that is don't take me lightly. Don't take me lightly, Kazarian, because you may be world-renowned, but I... I'm a five-time provincial wrestling champion. I'm a guy that went to internationals in Japan. And another thing, you have all your accolades. I have my accolades, but I have something to prove. And that is beating you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, your referee, Eagle Eye Lenny Travis. Josh Hammerstein introducing Mitch Lightning, shoot wrestler, five-time provincial champion, one of the original entrants in the Rumble to crown a heavyweight championship here at Primo's. The crowd's going nuts. By the way, look in the ring right now. Everybody's favorite referee, it's the Eagle Eye, Lenny Travis. One of 27 accredited professional wrestling referees across Western Canada. Licensed to practice as a ref. Wow, everybody, everybody in the crowd is loving Mitch Lightning tonight. Kazarian, total non-stop action wrestling, wrestling under the names Kazarian, Kaz, he also wrestled under the gimmick of suicide, currently working for Ring of Honor as a free agent, and here tonight, Primo's Wrestling Canada, and this guy looks like he is a man on a mission. A lightning rod of controversy, and he's in there tonight with Mitch Lightning. Guy has, he has won a ton of titles all around North America. He has beaten a who's who of the greats here in wrestling in North America. Any kind of match, this guy's got some chops and it'll be a pleasure to watch him wrestle here tonight. Mitch Lightning, no slouch whatsoever. He's going to be a great test for Frankie Kazarian in his first match here tonight. This Primo's Canada Wrestling. Thank you, Josh, for throwing us the ring announcing tonight. Look at the eagle eye. He's got a sharp eye on these two guys. He's ready to call the action. He's going to be calling the bell here any second. Wait a minute. Something's going on here. Something's not copacetic. We can't start this match, ladies and gentlemen. Let me explain something, you ham sandwiches. It is not a right to watch me wrestle. It is a privilege to watch me wrestle. Wow. Way to welcome yourself to Winnipeg, Mr. Kazarian. This guy is a rebel. 
And until this guy goes home and changes his brutal shirt, I'm not going to rest. You know what? Now settle down on the guy in the front row with the Magnum P.I. shirt. It might not be for everyone, but that was a great show. There is not a lot of Magnum P.I. fans see, here in Winnipeg even the tonight. With the limited intelligence like those that live here in Winnipeg agree that you need to change that rotten shirt. That is not a test pattern on your screen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is that gentleman's shirt. And of course, our crack shock so camera fact, crew getting time, all those great high definition and some in some areas 3D here. shots. And watch me make an example out of this kind of sandwich. You didn't really think you were gonna get to call this one on your own, did you, kid? No, I won't. Did I did I step into a did I step into the Philadelphia experiment or what's with the Aloha shirt in the front row? Now hold on here, Frankie Kazarian just went off on that poor guy. That is bullying by the definition and we are not about bullying on Primo's Wrestling Canada. What do you mean bullying? If you wear a shirt like that, you deserve what you get. Like I said, the guy is probably a big Magnum PI fan. Maybe he had some friends out in Vietnam, actually went to the war, came back and they brought their baggage and they used that show as healing. This. He actually brought a psychiatrist with him too. Look at that sweater. Unbelievable. Now again, I don't know about, I can't verify any of that accreditation. What I can verify, the Eagle Eye, Lenny Chip Travis, the 27th accredited referee in Western Canada, here to call the action tonight. And you know what else we can verify? We're about to get underway here with Frankie Kazarian versus Mitch Lightning. And the winner of this match, the winner of this match will receive a title shot at that uh, fine looking championship belt hanging above the ring, the Primo's Wrestling Television title. Wow, TV title shot for the winner here. Like we were saying, Mitch Lightning and Shadow Extreme both started in the Rumble to crown the champion. They were the longest in the ring. Well, Shadow technically because he won the whole thing. But Mitch Lightning next to him, the longest competitor in the ring. So he's got some skills, he's ready to go. Kazarian better not come in after shushing it up on some California beach thinking this is gonna be an easy way to go. Well, he may have some skills, but he certainly doesn't have any fashion sense since when did gingers wear green? Now wait just a minute. We wanna say a big shout out to all the red-headed people watching this show. We love you, thanks for the cards and letters, and thanks for writing in about Mitch Lightning, because you're the reason that we brought him here into Winnipeg tonight. He's got the crowd going, and now that Frankie Kazarian is done complaining about shirts and sweaters and ring bells, he doesn't really know what to do in there. Well, Frankie Kazarian is a world-class athlete. He doesn't want to come here to Winnipeg, then look in the front row, see Samoa Joe and his team of psychiatrists for crying out loud. Different strokes for different folks. That might get some wrestlers going. I mean, I think if you'd have Sika the Wild Samoan in here, he'd be kind of enjoying that, thinking that there might be a Lua Aloha somewhere. Joe. Quite possibly, wow. Welcome to the land of Kazarian, Mitch Lightning. You just got your head taken off by an amazing clothesline. Look at Frankie, look at the disdain. We I, I'm looking at Mitch Lightning, is he, is he busted open? Looks like there might be some blood coming out of the mouth there. Wow. Wow. Whoa, gut wrench suplex. We also know about the pedigree of Frankie Kazarian. He pretty much performs any kind of kick ever in the history of professional wrestling. He's done it. Wow, springboard leg, leg drop. Mitch Lightning is in a bad way right now. I, he got caught off guard. This crowd is sort of stunned. Now where did you squirrel off to anyway, Mike Arnott? 
off to some war room watching some tape about some guy you guys are going to go and pole axe and attack from behind three to one tonight? I'm How a man about town. I'm making the scene. Oh, well, Mitch Lightning sort of trying to fight back here a little bit. A couple of roll-up combos. Wow. And the eagle eye, right in position. I'm, I'm actually very surprised that he was in position. He's never in position. I talked to him pre-show, and he said he had the, oh. I think that's it. That was devastating. Wow. That was unbelievable. Mitch Lightning doesn't know what hit him. I don't even know what that I was. I don't know. I don't know what hit him, but Frankie Kazarian just made an impact, the TNA Impact Wrestling Superstar, and now he's going to be taking on Rob Ryzen. He's going to challenge for that Primo's Wrestling Television title in a ladder match. First ladder match ever here on Shaw TV. I, you know what? I'm impressed. Mitch Lightning has brought it every match here so far in his Primo's Canada Wrestling career, and he just got steamrolled by Kazarian. Primo's Wrestling presents the phenomenal AJ Styles, former world champion for one day only, January 31st of 3 to 5, at the Punjab Cultural Center, 1770 King Edward Street. Join me, Adam West, live on location and get your tickets for an exclusive meet and greet with autographs and photos. Then catch all the live wrestling action with AJ Styles. Tickets available at Primo's Collectibles. Open till 9 daily and 6 on weekends in the Garden City Shopping Center. Like them on Facebook. you tonight. I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea what the next step is. I'm so sick and tired cleaning up every TNA mess. So basically why I'm out here is to tell you this. This has everything to do with AJ Styles. Everybody knows what I mean, cause it's good time, great, liberty. 